Good afternoon, church family, and we are excited. This coming Sunday is when we return to our in-person services here at the church, and we are looking forward to that. And just to let you know what the church is going to look like and what our expectations are, I'll move out of the way. Uh, and as you can see down through the pews, there's much red tape, and that is to divide our pews off in order to maintain our social distancing. Uh, we do ask that everyone that comes in is going to be required to have a mask. So either we can give you one at the door or you can bring your own, but we do require a mask for in-person services. Uh, also, we have hand sanitizer stationed throughout uh, in many areas, so we want to keep everyone safe and everyone healthy. So we're looking forward to that. If you do your part, I'm sure uh, we'll enjoy the service and we'll have a good day in the Lord. And I'm just looking forward to being back together once again. So services will begin 10 o'clock Sunday morning. We'll have one service on Sunday morning. Uh, and then our Wednesday night service will pick back up at 7 o'clock. So 7 o'clock this coming Sunday, please be on time. We're looking forward to being back in the house of the Lord so we can worship together. So you do your part, we'll do ours, and the Lord's going to take care of all of us. I promise you that. Uh, we got another little segment coming up here soon, so stay tuned. We're going to give you an update on our facilities uh, and let you know where we are with everything. We've got one of one big surprise, so stay tuned. It's on its way. Thank you. Two. All right, church family, we're here at our uh, second segment of this uh, little video uh, to kind of update you on where we are with our facilities, repairs, things like that from our tornado damage. I know some of you have been here. Some of you may have seen some of the upgrades and some of the things that have been accomplished already. Some of you may not. Uh, so this is just to update everyone to let them know where we are. As you can see behind me are trees that were once uh, taken down by the tornadoes. Uh, those have all been cleared out and uh, we appreciate Mr. Poteet uh, helping us get that taken care of. Uh, our fence has been installed, brand new fence all the way around. Uh, that is all new and boy it certainly looks much much better than our old one that was uh, taken down by the tornado and we appreciate Evan and High Tech Gate Company uh, taking care of that for us as well. Uh, come on down here and one of the big items that we had on our list or had here at the church was our canopy that went from the church uh, down to the fellowship hall as you can see that has been reinstalled brand new material that's uh, much better has more downspout so it's able to carry water away a little a little better than the old one and uh, we'll swing on around over here one of our drive-through main canopies uh, as many of you know the, we use this quite often especially in the rain uh, and this was uh, this was big for us to get this up uh, we appreciate Red Bank Aluminum coming over and taking care of that for us. Uh, as you can see, everything's brand new. We have downspouts on both sides uh, to carry the water away. And uh, certainly looks very, very good. Looks like it always has been there uh, from what we've been used to here at the church. And that makes it so much easier pulling up and getting out when we have uh, rain weather, inclement weather, that sort of thing. So we'll take a tour on down. We'll come on down. I'm going to walk backwards and hope I don't fall. Uh, as we feel this. Uh, most of you know we had a lot of roof damage when uh, the tornado came through, so our roof had to be completely replaced. So we're just going to kind of swing out. Uh, we'll get Daniel to come on out here with us. And we're going to just get a shot of the roof real quick. And so we've got brand new shingles. This is architectural. Uh, actually a lifetime shingle for us uh, so it should last us quite a long time uh, and now for the icing on the cake this is our surprise that we have for you so if you've been waiting since the start of this video we're going to give you just a few more seconds we're going to get in place and we're going to show you one item uh, that we had installed today so Daniel if you'll cut that as you can see um, we have our steeple up and uh, the gentleman came 
Uh, actually, this morning, it was here yesterday afternoon. I appreciate uh, Brother Poteet coming over, helping us, Brother Mike coming over, uh, helping us get that uh, taken care of. It is installed. Uh, we still have a little electrical work to do on the inside, but uh, we, uh, we certainly, certainly uh, are thrilled about having our steeple back in place. Uh, looks like a church now, rather than just a brick building. So uh, just wanted to share that with you all, give you an update of where we were on our facilities. Looking forward to remember this coming Sunday morning, in-person services once again here at Battlefield Baptist Church, 10 o'clock. Please be here. Look forward to be worshiping with us with the Lord. We thank you.